look here at San Francisco. In Northern California, though, particularly in Sacramento, some migrants have arrived there. California's Attorney General saying the state of Florida appears to have arranged for the group to be dropped off outside of a Sacramento church and were given false promises of finding work. Let's talk a little bit more about this, bring in Fox 2's Greg Lee to discuss uh, what we know right now. Greg, walk us through exactly what happened over the weekend. Friday, uh, the Sacramento airport saw 16 migrants that were flown in to that area and the community sort of rallied together to find housing and, and food and clothes for those migrants that were brought in. Fast forward to today, this morning at about 1030, Sacramento's executive airport, the private airport there, saw another charter private plane that was brought in with 20 migrants that this time, according to the state's attorney general, all of them purported to have documents related to a Florida relocation transportation program. And so that has led to extreme uh, backlash from the state's governor, uh, Governor Newsom, as well as the AG, Rob Botta, who says that his office has now launched dual criminal and civil investigations into who exactly is behind these flights uh, and, and what their intention was while they're providing uh, care for these migrants that have now arrived to the state of California. 36 now in total over the course of the last three days. Now we have reached out to Florida Governor Ron DeSantis's office as well as Florida officials that are responsible for this transportation program. They have not responded uh, with any comment thus far. Okay, and Greg, I'm going to pull up a tweet here. Speaking of, uh, of California Governor Newsom, this tweet that he put out today, it was directed towards Florida Governor Ron DeSantis. It says, at Ron DeSantis, you small, pathetic man. This isn't Martha's Vineyard. Kidnapping charges. Read the following, and he has a definition there of uh, what is considered kidnapping. What's the reaction to this tweet today and, uh, you know, this ongoing back and forth of who's responsible? Yeah, and, and you said it there, Lexi, there has been an ongoing war of the words between Governor Ron DeSantis and Governor Newsom, as you know, and have been reporting Governor DeSantis throwing his hat in the ring for the Republican primary for president in 2024. Governor Newsom, there's been speculation, but is not running, he says, for president. But the, Governor Newsom has always been critical of many of Florida's policies specific to immigration. And in like turn, uh, DeSantis has been critical of uh, Governor Newsom. So as this investigation is ongoing, Newsom, as well as Rob Bonta, pointing the finger at DeSantis. And so we had followed up with Governor Newsom's staff to say, you cited the issue of kidnapping and the California Code for Kidnapping. Do you have anything to add about that? And Governor Newsom said he supports the investigation of the AG's office. Now, we spoke to a legal expert today about the standard of California's penal code as it relates to kidnapping. And she says at this point, with the information that we have, this does not rise to the occasion of kidnapping, but we will see as this inv investigation plays out if there is grounds for criminal or civil charges for whomever might be responsible for these flights. Again, uh, the state of Florida, Governor DeSantis' office has, has not said that they are responsible for these flights of migrants. Yeah, Greg, I'm going to pull up uh, just some video of the outside area of where that first group of migrants was initially dropped off. So uh, as far as, as these migrants go, where are they from and where are they staying now? Yeah, what we know so far is that those 16 that were dropped off in front of a Sacramento church on Friday, there were some from Venezuela and some from Colombia as well that were likely escaping violence and seeking asylum in the United States. We know it is a long, arduous journey to get to a place to the southern border where they can apply or be considered for asylum. Uh, we heard from the Sacramento mayor a short time ago this afternoon, and he said that Sacramento will do what it has continued to do, which is rally around the scared and vulnerable folks that have been brought in uh, to his city, and they will provide resources from them, from nonprofits and, and religious groups to give them the help they need as they await their hearings on those asylum and immigration issues. Uh, we don't know as much about this group of 20 that arrived this morning, but rest assured, uh, hearing from uh, the Sacramento mayor and his words that they will continue to care for these folks that have been dropped off in their city. Yeah, and Greg, I think final question here is uh, we've seen a lot of major cities like New York City, for example, uh, becoming overwhelmed with trying to house some of these asylum seekers who are coming in. Has there been any concern about that that you're hearing of? 
Uh, yeah, at this point, we have not heard that from the city of Sacramento. We should point out this Florida relocation program that the legislature has provided money for this year and the year prior. Uh, it received a lot of backlash and it started back in September uh, when uh, DeSantis's administration said that they paid uh, to have about 50 migrants uh, taken in a plane to Martha's Vineyard. We've seen other uh, Republican governors do that, like Governor Greg Abbott from Texas uh, sent migrants to the, the door home in Washington, D.C., and, and their claim is that this is a protest to what they call the open border policies from the Biden administration. And so as we await to learn more about who is behind these two planefuls of migrants to, to California, uh, we know that that may be uh, the response that we eventually hear from uh, whoever is responsible here. All right. Thanks so much for uh, coming on today. Fox 2's Greg Lee there telling us exactly what we know about uh, uh, the migrants arriving in Sacramento and, and what uh, we can expect to see moving forward to some extent. Greg, thanks so much. Yeah. Okay. And uh, we also want to play out another report here. This one from Fox's uh, Rowena Shaddix talking a little bit more uh, about the migrants' arrival. Let's play that out for you now. They were scared. <laughs> they were wondering where they're at and what happens next. Pastor Les Simmons of the South Sacramento Christian Center says his church hosted the 16 migrants who were flown to Mather by private jet from Texas and dumped off at the Sacramento Catholic Diocese office on Friday. With nothing but the clothing they had on and backpacks of other personal belongings, the pastor described the group as men and women, some who are couples, mostly in their 20s and 30s. They're trafficked here. They're not the ones that be in trouble. There's a lot of other folks that should be in trouble. This is actually, that's inhumane. You don't do that. Pastor Simmons' congregation is among 50 churches citywide, comprising SAC Act, which was the center point that organized the faith-based response to the migrants who were simply left to fend for themselves. So from Friday on till even today, I think what these immigrants are seeing uh, is a warm welcome from Sacramentans, a warm welcome from Californians, uh, being that the governor, the AG came to really just hear them out and to understand what was going on. From our city officials, uh, the mayor, mayor staff, they've shown what it means to see a person. The 16 were fed and provided with clothing and hotel accommodations. The next steps will be providing um, support for housing, support for uh, legal services, and uh, so on and so forth of what happens next.